got a big sense of urgency. We know that with a win tonight, we could clinch a playoff spot, and we like to protect our home court, so we're going to try to get it done tonight. Well, right now, we're basically just struggling. We're kind of desperate as a team, and we just feel like the team that we're going against today and other teams are kind of solidified. Like, the playoffs, we, we're, as of right now, we're, we won't make it, so other teams have a chance, and we have more to play for than a lot of other teams do. So right now, everybody's just trying to give everything they have, and all the seniors are trying to just get – they like go out with that last little bang and everybody's just trying to come together. We're trying to come together as a team so we can make the playoff. It's the home stretch of the NEC campaign. And Sacred Heart and St. Francis are jockeying for a postseason berth. With the playoff hopes on the line, these two antagonists take the court next. Watch the Pioneers. How are they going to perform on the defensive end of the court? Will Felder for three into the fourth court for St. Francis. Orendi, the bucket of the foul. Sweetney, off glass. Uh, great use of the glass again, very athletic. Offensively, he will fire a three here and hit. Range, and obviously he has the green light to take that shot. Pass it off the jump pass. Here is Jarrell Thompson for three. Litke wants to go down low for Potter, instead fires the three, and it's a good decision. He's got seven. Good decision. Anytime the ball's in Ryan Litke's hands, all-time three-point shooter for Sacred Heart. Deep, deep range. Coming up on 15 seconds to shoot, so he'll just fire a three and knock it down with the rebound. Nice pass for Jarrell Thompson for the reverse lane. Yeah, very smart play by Thompson. Lazori goes against Felder, kicks it out for Hassan. We've seen this a million times, and Hassan usually knocks it down. Rendy needs help. Sweetney comes out, fires the three, and hits. That's the quick type shot that Coach Pike wanted to avoid. And it leads to a slam by Anthony Irvin. It sure does. A quick offense leads to transition offense for the Red Flash. But it's an air ball, plucked out of the air by Johnson. He leaves Sweetney for the slam. It's a great look by the freshman Johnson. We haven't talked much about this rookie point guard. They trail the play. They're back in there now. Felder for three. Well, right on cue, he's been quiet. He has the three-point range. He has the ability to stretch the defense. Nice cut to the basket. Hassan charges the rim and knocks it down. He's got eight. All the way, the bucket and the foul. Chris Johnson on his motorcycle. They get the new shot clock to the Pioneers. Litke right to the basket. Well, I'll talk about a give and go. Dribbles through traffic, attacks the rim, the bucket and the foul. Well, he did attack the rim, 6'3", senior. Good athleticism. Felder, he has Chris Johnson. On the right wing, it's Anthony Irvin. His second bucket before the other way, as these teams are having trouble finding the bottom of the net. Felder tries his hand and converts. Has it, plucked away by Hardy to three on two. He'll find Hassan along the right side for three. And that's the unselfish play. That's the chemistry they've been looking for. Chris Johnson, they've got to break the oh. other way. Swinney drops it home right there, and it's a 51 to 47 Pioneer lead until the triple by Cedric Latimer into the final minute. Zazuri down low for Sacred Heart. And right back the other way, Latimer smacks it down. Latimer's fired up. That time Potter did come out to respect the three-point shot. Good read by Latimer to take it all the way to the glass, get this crowd into this basketball game even more. Knew that would be a mismatch. Potter hasn't respected the three, hasn't left the key. That time he came out, little ball fake and explosive. What a great finish. Cedric Latimer. Orindi knocks down the three. And then Jarrell Thompson ran into traffic, but found his man, and Lickey lays it home. He's got 14 points. That's the patience. That's working the basketball. Great as well. Hardy gets Latimer in the air, then charges the rim, the bucket, and the foul. Potter backing down on Felder with the easy hook. He's got five. Red flag, get the ball in Sweetie's hands. They're following oh. your lead, and he rolls it in. 28 points for Devin Sweetie. Outside for Latimer. He goes inside for the jam. 
Latimer with seven of his nine points coming in the second half. And Potter answers the call. He has seven. And it's a 65-63 ball game. You know, it has to be bad if he's not in the last two minutes of this game. That means he can't go. But this guy can go. Latimer has really stepped up. Cedric Latimer, the junior. The and Lickie across the lane finds Jarrell Thompson. Lickie off the feed from Chauncey Hardy. Knocks down the three. Oh, they're going to just extend the pressure at this point. Orendi goes right to the rack. And it's a four-point game with 16 seconds to play. Lipke for Hassan, an NBA three. In and out, Sweetie has the rebound. The Red Flash are gonna lock this one down with just under five picks to go. They're up by four, and Sweetie will go back to the free throw line. Sweetie misfires, but it will not matter. The Sacred Heart Pioneers have come in here needing a win and they will go home with a loss. St. Francis wins at 73 to 68. And our star of the game here is Devin Sweetney. Who else, as the Red Flash men, knock off the Sacred Pioneers by a final count of 73 to 68. Let me go over your line for just a second. You may not know what you did, but 31 points, which is four points off your career high, 13 rebounds, 14 of 16 from the free throw line. Suffice it to say, you were going to will your team to win today no matter what happened, weren't you? Yes, yes, sir. I, I definitely, you know, wanted to will my team. You know, coming in today, I had a long talk with Coach Friday, and I told him, he told me, he said, you know, Devin, you know, I know this is your last game here at home, and, you know, before you come to the gym, just, just sit down, put your iPod on, and visualize yourself making plays for the team, visualizing yourself making big stops, making free throws, knocking down three, knocking down shots in rhythm. And that's just something I did. You know, I just wanted to come here and just relax. And you know, I had a lot of family and friends come out to support me, but I just wanted to do it for the team, you know what I mean? And, I'm so proud of this team. It's, you know, it's words can't even express the way I feel right now. You know, it definitely feels good. You know, I never would imagine, you know, would have happened. So. Well, quite a legacy that you're leaving, and certainly a memorable senior day. And you came right out of the gates, really early, put this team on your back. Let's talk about your role as a leader. Nine newcomers, well documented. Coach Friday in his second year. What has that meant to you to be a leader on this team and really see your career? evolved to this point uh, you know I, one thing coach Friday you know did for me was to take you know responsibility for my actions and as well as everybody on the team you know and that's something I did we started back here in the summer you know while other teams were you know working hard we was working hard we, we jailed together this summer and, and I just hold myself accountable you know on and off the court you know rather it's class or, or practice you know and the guys will follow, you know, and I told Coach Friday coming into this year, I said, you know what, I want to be the leader of this ship. You know, I want to be the because I feel like, you know, I owe it to the program, to the fans, you know, to give them some good going out on my last year. That is Devin Sweetney, and congratulations on a great game. Thank Again, you. our player of the game, an outstanding effort, 31 points. And it looks like now the Red Flash are virtually assured of clinching that playoff spot. You have a little bit more to do here, Devin. Yeah, As you look at the standings, it's not quite locked up, but it looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, we got a, we got one more week going in the out. I know we got them here. So I know they're going to be coming for us. That's a hostile environment down there. And, you know, Coach Brown does a good job with those guys, so we need to get that one. Best of luck, and I know you're going to make the Red Flash a tough out. Thank you. Thank Once you. again, our final score, St. Francis 73 and Sacred Heart 68.